onboarding is often the quintessential one and done event. Even if it's this beautiful blended learning experience that lasts a week and everyone feels like they're in college and they get to get back together and feel that transition. And in reality, when you look at the business goal of onboarding, it's to ramp up somebody's productivity. Right? Mm -hmm. That's like that's what the company time to productivity. Yep. <laughs> right. Time to productivity. That's what the yeah. company really wants. So is that really gonna happen in a week through a, this great collegial experience? I don't know. And that's why stakeholders are often still very, you know, age old problem. We need to upgrade our onboarding. Why? Because they're probably still not hitting our business goals. And then on the learner standpoint, as much as people love to connect with one another, and we should definitely keep doing that, they also want to become productive and do their job. Like that is why they were hired. So um, a lot of what LCD does is really help people think through very much more specifically rather than generically, what would it look like on the job if um, this person was ramped up? Um, like, what does that even mean to be ramped up? And what does success look like? And then what assets would they need? Not just in that fire hose experience, but across time. And it certainly lends to much more of like a year long type of or six month long type of um, thought, but even beyond that, what if they forget something from month one that they need in year three? What are they going to have to help them remember? So one of the things about the LCD model that's so important is we target on the job behavior change. So we've talked about a couple different actions, but you know, one of our actions is all about focusing on that goal of on the job change. The second is that learner persona piece. The third is on upgrading those existing assets. And then the fourth is that surrounding folks with the meaningful learning assets. And the fifth is tracking. And they're not actually sequential, so I apologize for putting it in a numbered order like that. But just so you all know, five actions, those are kinds of the pieces of the model. Um, and then, as I mentioned, just, you know, we, we do a lot of we do a lot of workshops in this, both private for intact teams and also public. We do those about four times a year, limited at 15 people. So we keep it a very, it's a very cool experience in itself. And then we built a learning cluster about learning clusters. Mm -hmm. Outside of those um, specific events, we also have like our monthly modern dialogues we do that are free, open to anyone. We're looking at rolling out some master classes and doing some different things there. And of course, we have our book, Designing for Modern Learning. So lots of stuff, you know, to upskill and also doing is a big part of learning. And so we'll do it with you through our consultant team. And you also do it as a part of the workshop itself on your own work projects.